welcome to another vlog. I cut my hair yesterday. It's so much shorter. So incredibly healthy now. Today I'm going back to Surrey and I'm going to an event today with Tweezerman. I used the Tweezerman lash colours this morning and my lashes are looking super long. We're also playing pickleball which I've not played before. Very excited to try that out. And then we're having an alfresco lunch in the beautiful English countryside. It's at the Beaverbrook Spa and Hotel. I originally wasn't going to vlog today because I'd planned a huge Zara haul for you all but whenever Zara send my parcels with Amazon shipping they mysteriously get lost with the courier or they'll be marked as delivered when I've not received anything and I have CCTV at my house what happened last time but not this order the order before I placed my order with Zara like a really big order they dispatched it with Amazon shipping I had an email saying attempted delivery like you weren't in and I was thinking that's funny I was in all day took their word for it because at this point I'd had no bad experiences with them and then I got another email a couple days later confirming that they delivered my parcel so I checked CCTV and I went on the dates they said they delivered it the times etc and what do you know no one has been to my house I obviously had to contact Zara I got refunded for it ordered again massive order and I get my email saying your Amazon shipping delivery is going to be between 3 and 6 p.m. I was like perfect I'm home all day I'm just doing admin so I set myself up in the kitchen so that I could see my driveway a van pulls up but he parks at the end of my driveway because I'm pretty sure he knows I have cameras and like he doesn't want them to pick him up he got out of the van and just kind of like faffed around I was like I'm not really sure what he's doing got back in his van and then as he got back in his van I got some email saying attempted delivery like the person wasn't in so I'm thinking I've just watched you on my driveway you have not attempted to make a delivery you've not come to my front door you've not gone to my neighbors like you have not attempted a delivery I live on a private road so there's no through road he had to do like a u-turn so as he drove off to do the u-turn I walked out onto my driveway and I filmed the van as he came Came back because I was like no you are not gonna keep stealing my Zara parcels <laughs> message Zara I also messaged Amazon shipping but to be honest it's really really difficult to contact Amazon shipping I've not really had much luck with that spoke to Zara and they said conveniently after he attempted delivery my parcel got lost so they refunded me but I said like is there anything you can do about the Amazon shipping driver because I can't order any more things from Zara knowing that I'm never going to get my parcels because they keep getting stolen. And I know it's only happened two times, but I'm just like, two times is enough to put me off. I know it's very like first world problems, but yeah, thought I'd update you because I wanted to do that for you guys and I now can't. So it looks like from now on, I'm going to have to go into store and make my purchases that way. But yeah, that's my little vent for the morning. This driver needs to be told off back to positive things i'll try and show you better at the event but i've just popped on this top from abercrombie i've got this belt from reese jeans are actually zara earrings are wolf and badger deal bracelets taking my prada bag because i think it's meant to be quite nice weather today so i wanted a pop of color like something a bit summery so then i was thinking trainers but i just don't know if i'm going to get hot in these these ones are from veja i think that's how you say it i feel like i've waffled on for ages now so i'm gonna get ready and start driving
the only the only rule you've got to remember now is the ball has to bounce twice in every rally. So if I serve to Noah here, I'm going to serve to Noah. I can't then run in and I can't volley the next shot because the ball's only bounced once in. So I've got to serve it cross court. That's one bounce. The ball comes back. That's two bounces. So now if we want to. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we and my wife can play it. Yeah, she can play it. Yeah, maybe. You can. No, it's a lot scarier than I suppose this, like today, this whole event for us, and hopefully you felt it, but it's a, it's a thank you essentially. So we know that you have all supported the brand, you've worked with us, you've approached us organically, and genuinely, we couldn't do what we do without you. So this has absolutely been um, a thank you and an acknowledgement that you're such an incredible part of our journey. And we know how hard you all work as well. We know how busy you all are. So the fact that you've been here today, Spending the whole day with us is fantastic and we are so very, very warmly touched by it. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for that. Thank you. I don't know what the last clips you will have seen will have been but I'm currently charging the car it's I think about 30 minutes since I left the event just stopped to charge and catch up on some work emails etc I honestly had such a lovely day the speech they gave at the end as well was so sweet I love working with brands who are just like such lovely people I didn't even realize the amount that Tweezerman gives back to people. They help people in, I think it's in India, who have disabilities and can't work and then they pay for them to like have ways of getting back into work. Like they said that there was this man who sadly, he doesn't have legs and they paid for him to have like a little milk cart so that he was able to like go and sell milk and like, you know, have work where he is out there. I don't know just like little things and you think that is so lovely and they don't shout about that on their social media and so I wouldn't have even known that without going to an event like this and actually spending one-on-one -on -one time with the managing director and the Tweezerman team um, and obviously it's through that experience that I get to learn like this brand is incredible like it's so amazing I learned so many amazing things met the team who are all so so sweet and lovely and welcoming it was just an all-round really lovely day i just wanted to show you guys everything that they gave us because they gave us all goodie bags as if the day wasn't enough it was honestly the most glorious day we had a beautiful countryside lunch by the greenhouse at beaverbrook this is the bag of stuff that they gave us there's so much stuff in here oh and there's other products in here too we've got a brow and lash brush these i don't know if it will show up on camera but they're sparkly glittery tweezers <gasps> Oh my god, this is for removing blackheads. I have never seen, I thought this was a salon thing, like you only ever get these in salons because I've only ever had this done at a facial. The fact that I can now do this at home, I might just have to have like a little pamper evening. Mineral sunscreen stick, more lash curlers. The lash curlers are like the standout product for me. Like obviously the tweezers are really good, but these very excited to try it's annoying my camera keeps like changing lighting gua sha i think i'm saying that right which i am buzzing for i nearly ordered one of these the other day because i lost mine so 
now we don't have to eye patches oh my god stop it i am so oh my god i literally needed some eye patches as well and their vitamin c ones they've included their dermaplaning razor oh my god i've just got an upgrade i've been using those plastic ones they're like i think they're like two pounds for a pack of like 10 they're so cheap and affordable but i've just been using those and they're not that amazing you use them once you have to throw them away whereas this you can use multiple times and it's meant to be really good so i'll have to let you know how i get on with this maybe we'll do like a full-on pamper youtube routine at some point maria nilla cleansing powder looks like this i've never heard of this brand it says a cleansing powder that instantly freshens up your hair oh it's like a dry shampoo mini tweezman what's on these Oh my god, it's like oh, New York tweezer and tweezers. They gave us one of these Chili's water bottles, but I actually have the white one, so I think I'm going to give the black one to Ash, because then it's going to be like his and hers, which is really cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!